Here is an app that will allow you to mirror your Android phone screen to your PC, TV, or another phone. The app is called a Power Mirror and it's available on the Google Play Store. Apart from installing the app on your phone, you will also need to install the mirroring software on your computer. And you can do that by going to apowersoft.us, which is their main website. So just click on the download now and then install the software on your computer. Next, you'll need to run the a Power Mirror app on your computer. And note that the app does has a paid version as well. And it has like a number of additional features that you might need, uh, let's say for professional purposes. However, for most users, the trial version should be enough. So to do that, you'll just have to click on continue trial. And you'll need to make sure that you have your phone and the computer on the same network. So there are three ways you can connect your phone um, by auto detection which I'm gonna show you in a bit. And the other options is by using a pin code or by scanning the QR code on your phone. To use the app, all you'll need to do is open it and click on this mirror option and it will start searching for all devices that have the software installed. So in my case, I only have it installed on one computer, but if you have a lot of machines where you have installed, you'll see many and you can then decide on which machine you want to mirror it to. So I'm going to select the computer. Here you're given two options, whether you want to mirror phone to PC or you want to mirror PC to phone. I'm going to select mirror phone to PC to show you guys how it works. You're going to get a notification on your phone um, asking you if you want to start recording or casting your phone screen with a power mirror and I'm going to select yes here. And if I want to share my audio, I can use this toggle option as well. I am now successfully able to see whatever's happening on my phone screen using my computer. If I was to go back on my phone screen, I can do that. Or let's say if I open up an app, the amount of lag between the phone screen and the one on my computer is negligible right now. However, I did some previous tests before and I noticed that the lag was significant. Uh, but it really depends on how good your local network is. So if you have a really fast router, maybe you'll not have that issue like I did before. And another thing to note is that you do have a time limit on the trial version. So I have 10 minutes for each connection. And right now I have only five minutes remaining. Uh, you can even watch videos using the app as well. So let's say I open up uh, YouTube And I'm going to play one of my own videos. Uh, so let's say I play this one. And as you can see, like the video plays really smoothly. Not only can you do screen sharing from your phone to PC, but you can also do screen recording, uh, take screenshot off the screen on your computer. Um, you can even control uh, your phone from your PC. However, to do that, you'll need to do some setup, um, which I do not have enabled right now. There are certain features, however, that are for uh, paid version only. For example, the whiteboard feature is only available for paid users. Now, if you wanted to do the opposite, which is screen share from your PC to phone, you can also do that. Just click on the mirror option again, um, and then select the device from where you wanted to mirror from. And instead of selecting mirror phone to PC, you're going to select the opposite, which is mirror PC to phone. And as soon as you do that, you will be able to see exactly what's going on your computer screen. While the content comes really small because compared to your computer, it's a really small screen, you can still like watch whatever is going on and you can even control, um, your computer using your phone and you can click here and then even type whichever let's say website you want to go to you can close apps you can open apps you can do pretty much anything you want on your phone this way i hope you found this tutorial on how to uh, screen your android phone to your computer a lot useful uh, if you have any other better ways to do this uh, do let me know through comments Goodbye.